This video is going to show you how to set up your students on Reaz Plus and also going to show you how your students are going to log in as well. You should have received an email from this vendor from Reaz Plus or Learning A to Z with your username and password. If you have any problems accessing that, just let me know or let Patty Kalatowitz know at district office. So you're going to go to Raz plus.com and on the top right hand corner you're going to log in. Here's my username and password. I'm just going to select login and once you're logged in you're going to see manage students in this pink bar across the top. Select manage students and I have three students, some test students in here that just I've been creating for, for test purposes but you're going to select add students. Once you select Add Students, scroll down just a little bit, you're going to manually type in your students. So your student usernames, you can select what you want your student usernames to be. Do you want it to be their first and last name in their graduation year, just like their username is for the district? Um, you can decide what this is. I'm just going to make another just sample username just like this. You can type in their name if you would like. You can also leave that bit blank. These are optional. And then the district student ID is totally optional. You don't have to do that either. The next thing you're going to want to do is under grade level, select the grade. I'll select second for this one. Under RAS Plus, you have three options. You can select the placement tool. So this is choose from three options to get your students reading. You can assign a placement tool, you can select the A, um, a learning A to Z reading level, okay? And if you hover your, your mouse over the letters, it gives you a little preview of what each one is. Or you can enter a student's Lexile or Fontis and Pinnell level here. So you can decide what you wanna do for that. I'll just leave it as placement tool. And then for the password required, you're going to want to set a password. So you have a couple options. You can add a text password. So this could be the same password that they use to log into their computer. Um, it's that animal password with some numbers. Or you can select a icon type of password. I'm just going to select a text one for this example. I'll just do one, two, three, four, five. And then once you do that, you'll see it's listed right there. If you ever needed to change it, if the student forgot it, you can go here and either change it or remind them what their password is. Once I add one student, I can go ahead and add another and just continue doing this for your entire roster. Go ahead and click Save when you're done. And now you see the classroom roster and all of these students listed here are in your class. So now I'm going to jump over to what the students will see. Okay, so the students are going to go to Raz Kids, even if they just search, oops, even if they just search it in Google like that, they're going to get to this site and then the kids log in. You'll see a green button. They can click on that. That's one way, but the other way is if they want to just type in the website address, it's this thing right here. I'm going to go back and show you. It would be kidsa-z.com. So they could just hit enter, and then they're going to type in your username, so whatever the teacher's username is. So for my class, it was primary coaches. So once I type that, I'll click go. And now I'm going to see all the students listed in my class. I'll find my name, and I'm going to click on that, and then it's going to prompt me for my password. So this is where I would type in my password. If I wanted to see it, I could click on this little view icon or just to uh, show the password, and then I click Go. Once I click Go, this is what I'm going to see. I would click on Reading. Hi, friend. And it's nice going to take me you. through um, so a few questions, some friends. reading, answer some Can questions, and this is going to help task? place the type of reading or the ready, reading level. Go below. Try your best. And that's it. 
If I want to go back home as a student, I'll just click the back to home and this is where I'll see all my navigation of where to go.